like angel wings. Grown with time, holding stories in her palms like old scripture verses, dancing on top of everything, but holy, just trying to keep things together, calloused with unsolved problems, secrets tucked under her lifelines just so that her kids wouldn't have to live through blood clots and family bloodlines. She always told me, everything's gonna be all right. And it was over time. See, no one compares to my grandma. And her smile speaks truth into existence. Corners of her mouth crack open stories. Lockets of my history lie beneath her tongue, so I listen. Come on. Just trying to get a little closer to divinity's garments, I pray, like she told me to. Walk with my head high like she taught me to. Repent when I know better and laugh, because she always found a way to get me to. And her laugh echoes off the surface of my memory, cradling her insults inside funny bones because she never cared about what she said, hmm. or how she said it, or whose feelings she hurt. Hmm. All she knew was truth. All she knew was love. And all she remembered was how much I loved Peanut. So whenever she left, she would always bring me back some home. She spoke value. Her voice roared for attention. Whenever she calls, I can hear the happy in her tone, hear the pattern in her love unconditional, feel the last hug she embraced me in. My grandma loved, prayed hard. She was strong carrying body bags full of dreams. She wanted her children and grandchildren to follow. She only wanted what was best. Only yelled at us because she saw better. She cussed us out so gracefully. <laughs> Miss Neal told us she loved us. She was strong. Puppeteering life shackles off of everything. I loved her. She was my grandma. And I could never understand it. But I appreciated everything she did for us.